Hi guys, it's Marty here, and in this video we're going to be covering how to set up the Smoosh plugin on WordPress. And this is a plugin we can use to improve our website's speed by optimizing and compressing our image files, and all without affecting the image quality. So if you're ready, let's get started. Okay, so to set up the Smoosh plugin on WordPress, we first need to install it. So we're going to visit our dashboard, hover over plugins on the left, and click Add New. Then we're going to type the word Smoosh into the search bar in the top right, and install and activate this plugin by WPMUDev. Once the plugin's active, we're going to hover over where it now says Smoosh on the left, and click Bulk Smoosh. And this is going to bring us to the main settings page. Here we just need to scroll down a little, and I'll quickly run through what each of these settings do. So first we have image sizes, and this lets us choose to only compress images of a specific size if we prefer, or if we leave it on all, it'll compress them all. Then next we have automatic compression, and if we leave this turned on, the plugin will automatically compress any new images we upload, or if we switch it off, we'll need to come back and manually compress our images. Then under this we have metadata, which will strip away any metadata associated with our images if we leave it on, or if we want to keep our metadata intact, we just need to turn it off. Then we have resize uploaded images, but we only need to use this option if we're using images larger than 2560 pixels. So normally if we upload an image larger than this, WordPress will automatically resize it. But if we turn this option on, we can increase the size to whatever we want. Then under this we have Disable Scaled Images. And if we look underneath this, it says, Enable this feature to disable automatic resizing of images above the threshold. So we only need to use this if we're using the resize option above. Then the next option we have is Compress Uploaded Images, and to explain this a little better, when we upload an image to our site, WordPress creates a few different versions of the same image in different sizes, and leaves the original file untouched. And by default, the Smoosh plugin only compresses these different image sizes generated by WordPress, but if we check this option to Compress Uploaded Images, the original file will be compressed as well and personally I'm just going to leave this off. And then finally, we have Backup Uploaded Images, and this is used to make a backup of our images if we're using the option above to compress our originals. So we only need to turn this switch on if we turned on the one above. Then once we're done with these options, we can click Save Changes on the right, and then scroll back up to the top. And at this point, if we look on the left, we can see how many attachments we have, and in this example, I have 56 images. Now we just need to click Bulk Smoosh on the right, and the plugin will start compressing our images. This process can take anywhere from a few seconds to a few minutes, depending on how many images we have. And once it's finished, we'll be shown our results. Now, my results aren't fully accurate, as I'd already used the plugin on this site before. But from the two times I've ran the Smoosh plugin, I've compressed a total of 693 attachments, and managed to save a total of 6.7 megabytes of space, which is an improvement of around 11.5%, which is awesome, and especially as this is a free plugin. Now, they do have a pro version as well, and they offer a 7 day free trial if you want to check it out, and there's also a link in the description below that'll get you 20% off. Then, if you want to see how much of a difference the pro version makes to our loading times compared to the free version, be sure to check out the comparison video on screen now. So that's us now at the end, and I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please give it a like to show your support, and consider subscribing to the channel for more WordPress tutorials in future. Once again, my name's Marty from Let'sBuildWP.com, and thank you very much for watching my video.